Hello YouTube, it is Damien. This is the Rise of the Nation. It is episode 167. Today, we are in uncharted territories as we are in our first ever Champions League semi-final. We have a team that we have played before, a manager that we've beaten, a side that we've gone to the exact stadium and beat, a side where we have scored with 10 men to win in a group stage game, a side though that are world class, coached by one of the best managers in the world. It's Manchester City in the Champions League semi-final. We're gonna start with City first, and we'll talk about a bit of the history and who we are. Pep Guardiola, I think is still in charge, hasn't been sacked, or has been sacked and then come back. I'm not sure. Um, no, he's, no, he's been there the whole time. All right, not a problem. Makes sense. Jurgen Klopp, by the way, this is Liverpool's first year without Jurgen. Jurgen retired. So, important to see that Jurgen and Pep stayed a long time at their respective clubs. This could be Pep's last chance uh, to win one because I don't think he's won one in the save at 70. But he's a very good manager as Pep. Man City, though, you have to have a look at how they got here. At the minute, they're third in the Prem. Um, they just got done 4-1 by Everton at home, which is a bit of an interesting result. They may have fully rotated against them um, as well, but who knows. Um, Wolves, obviously, they beat. Bill was on a winning streak before then, and they knocked out Salzburg 3-0 in the quarterfinal, as you can see here. A very good side, a side that knows exactly what they're doing, and a very, 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 very world-class team. that are going to probably line up in a 4-3-3. If we do filter their results by Champions League, You'll know they came through Group A top, where we also beat Raul Hippus, who were in their group as well. Hippus, however, has beaten City. We beat Hippus, so there we are. Betis, whatever you want to say. They've only lost once. That was that game there. They won the other five in the group to get top of the group. They then played PSV, who they spanked. Um, sorry, not PSV. They played Hamilton, who they spanked. Salzburg, who did it right, and then they spanked. It looks like at home, they're just going to be a really good side. If we actually filter by Champions League, though, and we go back a few years you'll know that we've played them previously. Away in the first leg, we were pretty decent against them. We had chances to win. We had chances to obviously do it as well. And hopefully, you know, we thought maybe we could have done it. But he was the big one, Hannibal the Animal. And a game we had to win to get out the group. A game we had to win to give ourselves a chance to win the Champions League back in 2036-37. And Hannibal the Animal put us on his shoulders and beat, made us beat City 3-0 at the Etihad. A lot of water's gone under that bridge. We've played him before as well, I believe, one more time in the group. Uh, or maybe I didn't, and I've only played him then. Fair, I swear we've played him one more time. Apparently not. No. All right, so apparently we haven't played him one more time. Okay, that was only two games. I swear we played him more, more than that. But we have beaten him. We do have a history, and we do know what we're doing against Manchester City. However, this is City, and they're world-class. Dino passed fit. Ibe isn't. Yepi, obviously, coming back from a hip injury. There is hope that if we do go and make the final, Yepi can sit on the bench. And if that is the case, Yepi would come on in his swung song. This is going to be massive, though. This is huge. In terms of us and our results, there's a little bit of a side story going on today. If you go to records, we had 99 league games without a loss, as you can see here. We just played Copenhagen. We went full strength and won 3 0 we have Midland in between this. On a bloody Sunday afternoon, they give me this game two days before City. We have that game there to go 100 league games without a defeat. That would be massive. But let's not take away how big this is. Important to know, oh, I'm not 100% fit. Would love to have him, but Ravel's in great form. Big for them, though. Daniel Yacubo just got injured in the last league game, gone. The Ghanaian international is absolutely quality. One of the best fullbacks in the game. Um, Exu, I do expect to start here today. A world-class midfielder would love for the Chinese man not to play. But somebody tells me he will and will be risked by Pep Guardiola. We're at full strength, apart from Ibe. But this is your team for our first ever game in the Champions League semi-final. It's a bad, it's Bloom, it's Sheng, it's Carlos, it's Ravel. Jacob the Wonder Kid with Ronald. Carlos, Nilsson and Tobias. The baller is up top. The bench is star-studded. And we know what we're doing, and hopefully we can go out there and do the job. Albert not 100%. Sir Richard Belzo is going to come into there as well as an option. Dino and Alba also your midfield options as well. 
We've been here once before in Europe. A semi-final. We went out. We beat Chelsea. We made our first ever final in the Europa League and we won it. We were potentially 180 minutes away, plus extra time and pens, from our first ever Champions League final and a shot of completing the save. All that stands in our way is a world-class Manchester City side. But we're world-class too, and we need to believe. Paulie predicts a 2-1 win. Berger predicts a 3-2 win. Dim predicts a 3-1 in. I'm predicting we lose 2-1, but we win 1-0 in Denmark, and we go for an away goals. This is going to be huge. This is going to be massive. This is going to be Manchester City over in England. We're going to go and do what we always do. Go and show the guys on their left foot. Go and show the guys on the right and their right foot. Keep it compact through the middle. And off we go. Thomas Latian is a world-class finish keeper. He's been here before. We actually played against him when we played him a few years ago in the group. And he is pretty damn good. Roche has also been here a long time. The German is an elite 32-year-old. Still looks incredible at 32. Can't get it in. Driss Debbie at centre-back. Pretty world-class as well. Only been capped 13 times by France. I think we can get it in. I really do think we can get it in, though. Be interesting to see how we go. On the other side, they've got Con Forti. He's the one we're going to have to go and pick up on. Jero Nemo is the guy. We need to get the ball of pinning on him. Six foot six, a big boy. But at 34, has lost that yard of pace. And maybe we get at him. And Barlow, world-class fullback on the other side. Gives one, though, a run for his money at Juve as being one of the best left-backs in world football. Sadden is one of their best players. A guy that's a natural centre-back that can play through the middle of the park and DM. Absolutely unreal. Basilo, great midfielder, an elite midfielder. The 23-year-old from Brazil comes from a quartet of Brazilian midfielders like Nildo, Aguildo. He is the guy that we need to watch out for. Shongdon Wun, we could have had him. From Leipzig, he chose to go to City instead of us for 3.1 million. The rest is history. Yusuf, the 26-year-old, an elite winger who looks fantastic. Fernandez, the 21-year-old wonder kid, probably on paper, according to the current ability of him, not the greatest. He looks world-class, physically a monster. And Marcos has been here before, has done it all. Now, Manchester City, Brazilian striker, looks out of this world. On the bench, they have a backup keeper that could be first choice in many, many countries, the Englishman. Curtis Colton, another fullback that looks pretty damn good. Glenn, another Englishman as well. A lot of English talent. Marcel Tenberg, usually an elite striker, not starting, their best striker. Kirian Cartwright, the 21-year-old wonder kid, looking pretty decent. Daniel Garcia, the 28-year-old, knows exactly what he's doing, the Mexican, with 97 caps. And Andy Roberts, the only one that you really say isn't better than us. They have a better squad than us. They may be a better team on paper. But we are SFB. We don't know when we're beat. We don't know the meaning of giving up. We do not know the meaning that we can't go out there and achieve. We've done it before. We were down to 10 men. And Ismail scored here. I swear we've played him once before. Maybe it was in a Europa League game. Maybe, first time around. I'm not sure. But we definitely had a moment. Ismail scored with 10 men against them. Hannibal's done it for us here before as well. For me, it's all about the possession and the shots that are. If someone tells me this game finishes nil-nil, I'll snap your hand off for it right now. But I do really feel if we've got to get through, we need an away goal. City on the ball in the infamous blue. And Roche finds Basilo. Sadden now on the ball. We get a bit of a press. We're pressing on him high. Debbie inside the Basilo. Sadden. Ball over the top. Great ball over to Roche on the overlap. His ball cut back to Basilo. Basilo now. Ball in the Sadden. We press up yet again. The baller had to be there to stop that pass. Roche again on it. No cross into the box, please. They're still probing here, City. Building up nicely. Can we win the ball back, maybe, though? We don't. Ball's got to come in eventually. Good press again, forcing him backwards. Can we win the ball now, Jacob? We don't. Now we've got to win the ball. Carlos does it. How have we not won the ball? A bad what a save. Three, four, five moments. We should have stepped in and won the ball. We didn't. City carve us apart. And Bad's done his job. The world-class goalkeeper. One golden glove yet again last season. A massive save from a bad. And that is exactly where we need to be. Apparently that's a free kick. Silly place, baller, to give away a foul. But, oh my God, free kick in a worse spot. They're world class. This could fly in. Many Kane, effort wide. Whew. 
20 minutes played, City been the better side. Free kick for us, though. Tobias chips on back stick, cleared away. Is it full to us, though? No, we need to win the ball here. Jacob does enough, falls back to Sutton, though. And here goes City on the break. City have numbers. Fernandez is quick. Fernandez away. Fernandez, Bloom, what a tackle, wins the ball back. What a challenge from the captain. Oh, my God. We've got, well, who did that? Who did that? Who gave him back the ball there? Rosh now with a moment. We look a bit at sixes and sevens. McKenzie with a chance to whip a ball in. Medi Kane, I don't know. Basilo effort block. Falls to Medi Kane. Ball in, headed in. Marcus Aurelio with the chance and the finish. I don't know who gave the ball away after Bloom's challenge, but a big mistake, whoever it was. And that is us 1-0 down. I want to know who it was. Carlos, the world-class winger, has just popped it into the worst area. Wowzers, man. Literally, just play a bad, we pump it away, no dramas. We're 1-0 down, 21 minutes in. It's not where we need to be. It's been all really city so far. Ball in block, falls back to him, a little lucky. Maybe a bad should come claim as well. But there we are, Bloom apparently has got a tight green, fucking harden up. It's not really happening. Going to get us to demand a little bit more here. 36, 37 minutes. One was not the worst result, but no one really having a good game out there. We need a Hannibal, the Hannibal, to go out here and just drag us. Time ticking away here. Half time, one nil down. Far from pleased. Start the second half. Away we go. We need to see a better SFB here. At some point, do we go 4 4 2 and try for the away goal? Or do we leave it? Debbie, though. Basilo, Sundong, Wong. They just they are so good at moving us around. We have not been carved up like this in, ever. Fernandez, what a run. Big moment. A bad, what a save. They are all over us. Carlos is having a stinker, but that's because of the mistake. Fernandez balling back, stick cleared away. They are all over us at the minute. Time ticking. Nothing really happening. Free kick. Fucking hell. I need to make a change. I don't know what to do. Freezing up here at the minute. Win, Ronald. Carlos on the break. Here we go. This is our moment. This needs to be a goal. Carlos running. Need a runner. Nielsen. Baller wanted it. Ignored. Nielsen. Oh, my God. Why not take a touch and actually go a goal? A tame effort. I'm going to go for it. Fuck it. Carlos has had a stinker. Carlos has had a stinker. I don't really have a right winger that can go out there on that side. That's my issue. <sighs> Mogar comes in there. Lars for Ronald. Nielsen the baller. Going to go for them. Feel like we need to see something a little bit different. If we just sit here, they're going to pick us off. Let's go. 4-4-2, four, four, highlight. We can still build the ball array as well. We get a goal when we 4-3-3. Four, three, three. Ren Sheng. Good ball out to Lars. Needs an option now. Looks for Nielsen. Good run. Nielsen, keep us off his line. Chip him! He's good! Come on! Ronald back in there. Nielsen's done his job. Lars on one side, the boss on the other, the baller. Actually, Nielsen up here. Baller off. Albor in. Go to that. Box the box. Box the box. Bang. Off we go. Into the 4 3 3 defend. We put our balls on the line. And when it mattered most, we made the change and it paid. Nielsen with a diagonal run. Nielsen versus Laffy and one of the best keepers in the world. And Nielsen goes, don't worry, baby. I'm well class too. And it's 1-0. And we switch straight into the 4-3-3. And now for us, it's like for like. And we need to get this in at 1-0. We need to just not see a highlight. Get in at 1-0. Time ticks away here. Midfield looking legless. Don't care. Time ticking away. Still ticking, still ticking, still ticking, still ticking. Time wasting change. Dino in, 
For JQ, because... Oh, I'm out of subs. Okay, interesting. I didn't realise I made three. But I only made two. Time ticking. Four minutes. Please, baby, get home. Get home. Get home. Get home. As things stand, if it finished nil nil in Denmark, which is possible, we would be through. A table of two halves. City dominated. City probed. City looked like doing it. But when push come to solve, we saw, we we came and we saw, and we stared Pep Guardiola in the eyes and said, "We're world class too. We got tricks up our sleeve. We went four four two, put our dick on the line, and tell you what, we're fucking nearly there. What a comeback, unreal, huge. The whole wide world would have ridden off this little team from Denmark. But I tell you what, as things stand, we are ninety minutes away." From our first ever Champions League final. And you'll see that in just a second. This could be history in the making. It could just be our time. Welcome back YouTube. It is time. Second leg, Manchester City. Here at the SFB Stadium. First thing to note, we did do it. We are officially 100 games without losing in the league. The rotated side beated... Beat it, beaten, um, beat Midland 2 0. Important to note though, Ravel just got a training injury the day before the game. We always cop an injury before the game. Our left back is injured. Ibe came back in, he played some minutes in the last game out. He's only been pit, past pit 45. He is going to start this game and he is going to have to do a job. Lars also injured in the game, just gone as well. The Danish FA, hey, can we play a game on a Sunday? Is really causing these injuries. Important to note, Yakubu is still out injured. Ion Fernandez is not 100% fit as well. The winger that had a massive chance against us, which a uh, which a bad save and a massive one-on-one -on -one against. I do expect him to play, but I don't expect him to be on the starting eleven. Paulie, I know has predicted a one-nil win. I do ask the boys in the chat for their prediction. Before we get into that, I am just going to say one thing, as I'm just going to try and fix my budget quickly because it does annoy me when it's in the red. We weren't meant to be here. City are a much better side. But there's anything we've learnt is that this team, this plucky little team from Denmark, know what they're doing. To put it in perspective, what we're on the cusp of what we could achieve, we are potentially 90 minutes away from being a semi-professional amateur side Founded in 2018 in a Champions League final in 2040. That would be insane. Your team to start the second leg, your team to fight for our first ever Champions League final is Abad, Bloom, Sheng, Carlos, Ibe, Jacob, Ronald, Carlos, Nielsen, Tobias, the baller. That is probably our strongest starting 11. Man City are good. Man City are great. But this is Denmark. And we believe because anything is possible. And until our saviour Mike Godden, Nicholas Adrian, Alex Smithies, Isberg. Let's think about Mess. Tobias. Uh, sorry, not Tobias. Jeez. Um, Mariba to Debo. Daniel Santoro, Fabio Silva. May we channel the inner legends that have been part of this YouTube channel, inner legends that have been part of this Twitch save, this Twitch journey of ours. May they shine upon thee, give us a little bit of luck. And in Mike Godden's name, amen. May we get through this tie. This is going to be huge. This is going to be massive. He does not start. Does he make the bench? No, he didn't make the bench. They put to, to Berg back in. Here we go. We are going to go. The guys on the left are going to press on the left-hand side. If I can click because I'm a little bit nervous. The guys on the right, we are going to press on the right-hand side. We are going to press the guys in the middle of the park. I'm actually going to take us pressing off the fullbacks a little bit. Just let them do that naturally. Here we go. So to... Marcel to, to Berg comes back in, world class. Daniel Garcia makes the bench now. Again, actually, he, it's not the guy's thing. He doesn't even make the bench, the other guy. Um, Song Dong Wong goes back into centre-back, which is very natural. 
And I've moved Marcos Aurelio, who could probably play some sort of form of centre mid in there. He's a very good centre mid, probably a Mazzala. 4 3 3, definitely more advanced versus the 4 2 3 one of us. This is the moment. If we keep a clean sheet, we are in the Champions League. We know we can do that. I've decided 4 2 3 1, mainly because it gives me the balance of the 4 3 3 and the attacking ability of the 4 4 2. It's a system that has not lost this season in the Champions League. Yes, we were 1 0 down of it, but we went 4 4 2 and scored. This first goal was massive. It is us in our famous white here in Denmark versus City in the blue. And it's a highlight from kickoff. It would be a horrid time to concede right now. Saying that, great time to score. Baller, Nielsen, Ronald, runners, Carlos, 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 chips in. Oh my God, we scored inside 20 seconds in the semi final. That first goal was massive. We won the ball back. Carlos beats the challenge. Out came Le Lefium. Carlos dinks him into the top bin. Channeling his inner hero, Lionel Messi. The Argentinian won the kid. With a worldy of a finish. He's a Portuguese, actually. Portuguese and Argentinian. It still can be Messi. Luis Figo. There you go. Ronaldo. Channeled all of them. We are one new up. 20 minutes played. City need a goal to send this the extra time. As things stand, we are through. This is huge. Free kick to Bias. Ball in. Back stick. Cleared away. Jacob on it. Here we go. The Denmark fans roar. The place is rocking here in Denmark. Jacob with a switch. Fires to Bias! We're 2 0 up. It's going to be settled in the 90. Tobias makes it 2. It's 3 1. It doesn't really change too much for City. City, no, they get a goal. It gives them a sniff. They could score a second in my out. Jacob injured. No, 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 no. I don't want to bring Dino in because he's a walking red card. But I guess we don't because Alba goes in. I'm not going to risk him. Dino's a walking record. Our Jacob, what a performance so far, mate. As things stand, we are going to be 45 minutes away from a Champions League final. One more does kill it. 100%. One more does kill it. Free kick. Ball in top of the box. Oh, my God. They've scored. 2-1. Just like that. Just like that. City, oh, one goal away from sending us here. Just like that, City are one goal away from sending us out. Time ticks, away we go. Done absolutely nothing, free kick out of nothing. City one goal away from sending us out. I am thinking about the 4 2 3, I am thinking about a 4 3 3. Balloon, throw in, Carlos. Can't lose it here, Carlos, loses it. Down the line, should be our ball. Ren Shen, Carlos. Over the top looking for Nielsen. Bula! just appeared like particles just appearing in air. Where the hell did the baller make his run from? The ball was meant for Nielsen. It was overcooked. I think the keeper just thought he had it. And in the end, the baller's just made a run from nowhere. What a finish. It's 3-1 on the Knights. 4-2 on aggregate. City need two. We switch into the 4-3-3 defend. It's now time to go into lockdown City. Shut up the borders, just like Australia does during a corona pandemic. Shut the borders up. Let's fucking hold on. We don't want a highlight. Ball in. Confronti. Over the bar. Good, good, good. That's 10 minutes away. Come on. No goal, please. Time ticks away. Still ticking away. Got to make a defensive change. 
Mulga coming in for a little bit more fresh legs. City need a goal right now. It's not happening. This, oh my God, I was about to get excited. It's a highlight. DB, we have a chance. Mulga wins. Ronald, Renshek, thumps it away. A goal for City makes things interesting. Sundong Wong, ball inside. Sadden, Debbie, Garcia, Ronald wins. No, he doesn't. Garcia again. Sadian with a chance. City need a goal right now. It's now another. Picked up by Tobias. Dino. Tobias. Surely it's it. Surely they aren't scoring two. We're going through our first ever Champions League final. The ball to the seal it. Get the suit ready. We're going to have a chance to win the Champions League and finish the save. 4-1, the ball are unreal. Little old SFB. An amateur side from Denmark are going to the Champions League final. <laughs> We're one game away, come on. We are one game away. Guardiola didn't deserve anything. They didn't. Play for injury. Fractured lower arm. Play through it, Jacob. You're playing in that final. We qualify for the Club World Cup. We get Liverpool in the final at the Austrian National Stadium. Baller praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Oh, my days. We play my heroes and my boys that I go for, Liverpool Football Club, in the Champions League final. And saying that, though, it's the year after Klopp has retired. It's a Liverpool side that have won seven Champions Leagues in the save, going for number eight. I actually, I think it's actually six. Klopp's won seven, the one that he won in real life with Liverpool. I think they've won six Champions League finals in the save. All that will come down to it. The most successful team in Europe versus an amateur side from Denmark for a chance to end the save. Next episode. Or episode, I can't even remember. Episode 169 or 168. It's going to be a moment. The biggest moment. A chance. To end this save in season 20 and to be crowned champions of Europe by lifting the Champions League. I'll see you there, YouTube. We've knocked out Manchester City and Pep Guardiola. Who says we cannot lock out Liverpool? Maybe. It really is our time.